The film opens with a lady remaining in popping flares. Her tissue chars as shouts are heard behind the scenes. We then, at that point, see a man, him, place a gem object in his room. The house then, at that point, changes from consumed and overview to totally renovated. A young lady, the mother, emerges in his bed, and seeing his non-appearance she calls out for him, child? He doesn't reply. A mother strolls through the house which appears to be totally unfilled and as she ventures out onto the yard to look him outside, he comes up from behind and alarms her, embracing her. He is a prominent artist experiencing a mental obstacle following the deficiency of his first spouse. Mother is attempting to paint one of the rooms in the house utilizing various shadings. She strolls toward the divider and sees a dream of a pulsating heart inside the dividers. Somebody thumps on the couple's front entryway. He invites the more interesting, man, into his home. He is well-mannered toward man, however, mother isn't exactly alright with his essence. The man was coordinated to the house under the feeling that it was a bed of some sort and breakfast. He shows man his office with his composed works, and man confesses to loving him's work. He invests a large portion of the energy visiting with man, advising mother it's great to have somebody to converse with who partakes in his work, regardless of mother saying she adores his work as well. All things considered, she permits man to remain. Notwithstanding, man has rough hacking fits that he tends to. The mother later sees man vomiting in the latrine with him remaining over man. Mother sees a lump of tissue missing from man's ribs, however, he covers it with his hand. The following day, mother asks him how man is doing. A man strolls the first floor and says he feels superb. Minutes after the fact, one more thump is heard at the entryway. The mother responds to it to track down man's significant other, lady, at the front. He invites her into the house too. He and man go for a climb while mother is left alone with woman. She disturbs mother with inquiries concerning whether or not she and he need kids, just as woman's interest in going dependent upon him's office, however, mother says no one can go in without his authorization. Upon their return, man has another hacking fit. He discloses to mother that man is biting the dust, and he and his better half love him, so they needed to meet him before it was past the point of no return. Man and woman enter him's office and incidentally break the precious stone item. He is crushed, requesting them out of the workplace. He grasps the messed up pieces, holding them until he drains. Mother orders man and woman to leave, yet they rather go into one more space to get cozy. Inevitably, man-woman actually has not left until him and mother both concur that they should leave. As man and woman are preparing to take off, their children show up, quarreling over the condition of their dad's will. Most seasoned son resents getting not as much as his sibling. The showdown turns rough as oldest son assaults his sibling before he isolates them. They run into the room where oldest son cudgels his sibling over the head, making his skull air out and drain. He gets younger brother and conveys him to the clinic with man and woman following. Mother tidies up the blood on the floor, however, one stain on the floor won't come out. She presses against it and it begins spilling blood to the storm cellar. The mother goes ground floor and sees blood spilling into the light until it breaks. The showered blood structures around the divider. The mother gets through and sees a heating oil tank. Most seasoned son shows up from behind her, having been stowing away. He just takes something of his and goes out without a word. At the point when the others return, he tells mother that younger brother is dead. Alert is held for him in the house, with different outsiders showing up to offer their appreciation. A mother turns out to be progressively disturbed with the conduct of the visitors. She contends with him over their visit until they start to have enthusiastic sex. In the first part of the day, mother lets him know that she believes she is pregnant. Thrilled, him is motivated to begin composing once more. He finishes his work and sends it out, standing out enough to be noticed to the herald. In a little while, mother is approaching the finish of her pregnancy. As she prepares supper to observe him, seriously love him fire appearing at the house. One lady enters with her youngster who wet his jeans. The mother goes to the restroom and sees a man peeing in the sink. Before long, a swarm of fans begins approaching the house, including the herald, who needs to address mother. Their developing presence begins to negatively affect mother, who encounters torment that makes the house shake. Notwithstanding mother attempting to stow away from the group, the fans begin to break things and take stuff from the house. As she moves to various rooms, individuals start to act viciously toward each other. Certain individuals are restricted and have sacks over their heads. The herald strolls around nonchalantly shooting them in the head before serenely conversing with mother. A gigantic impact goes through the room, killing the herald. A SWAT group has gone into the house, battling against the inexorably hyper horde of fans. It rapidly becomes evident that the fans are important for an agnostic clique. The mother begins to start giving birth. He brings her into his office where she brings forth a child kid. 
He needs to hold his child, yet mother won't release him. She requests that he send the fans away. Mother sits in the workplace for an entire day holding her child until she nods off. At the point when she awakens, her child is no more. He carries their child to show to the group. They begin passing the child around, even as he pees on them. The group then, at that point, breaks the child's neck. Mother hears it and hysterically takes a stab at rushing to the front of the room. At the point when she arrives, she sees her child has been appallingly mangled, and the fans are eating him. Mother shouts in anger, making the house's establishment break. She gets a piece of glass and starts cutting and slicing the fans until their chief gets her and whacks her over the head with a candle. The fans start severely beating mother and removing her garments, calling her a prostitute and a bitch. He runs in to stop them, holding his significant other mournfully. Mother shouts at him that they killed their child. Mother rushes to the cellar where she happens upon the oil tank. She tears it open and allows the oil to stream out before taking out a lighter. He begs mother to do nothing, however, she resists him and drops the lighter. The whole house disintegrates, consuming everybody in the house to remain before everything around the house detonates. He and mother make do, however, mother is appallingly scorched while he is sound. He does mother's body of the storm cellar. She asks him what his identity is. He says I'm I and you are home. She asks where he is taking her and he says to the start. When she asks what he needs, he says he needs her adoration. She lets him know he can have it. He delves his hands into her chest and takes out her heart, making her body disintegrate to the consumed debris we'd hope to see from standing a the wellspring of the fire. He pulverizes the heart in his grasp and pieces fall away uncovering a gem object like the one he had previously. He puts it in a similar spot in the remaining parts of his office while laughing to himself. Yet again the house abandons obliterated to pristine. A young lady then, at that point, structures in the bed, calling out for her missing spouse, child, to watch more video like this, click on the videos on your screen, and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last I will say stay safe and stay healthy. See you next videos.